right, so here we go. I have a large sheet in front of me. My paper's going left and right. And for our first snowman drawing, this will be snowmen in outer space. Space, 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 space. So remember what I said in our intro video. Um, I'm going to take you to a certain point. If you want to keep going and add your own things, go for it. If you like what we've done together and you just want to stop there, it's perfectly fine too. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to use a long, skinny, what letter is that? V. We're going to turn this into a carrot-nosed rocket ship. Because, you know, why not? I'm going to put a little C on the back there. We'll add our bubble where our driver will be sitting. We can add some curves to make it look a little rounder. Plus carrots have those lines on them. We could put some fins on our rocket ship. Remember, if I'm going too fast, hit pause. Try and catch up. This part might be a little tricky, so watch how I do it. Um, if you want to try it, try it. If you don't want to try it, you can skip it. That's fine. I'm going to try and make like a cargo bay underneath. Okay, so it's going to look like a hatch, like two doors opening up. We're going to use the letter C twice. Then we're going to connect those letter C's with a straight line. So that's like one side of the door. We're going to do a backward C over here, just a small one. And it's going to end up looking like a letter E. See that letter E? <coughs> and that's like the other side of the door. We're going to draw our first snowman floating in outer space. So we're going to put this snowman over here. I have a gentle curve in our snowman's body. Not too much. Nothing too crazy. You can make your own face on your snowman. Mine is going to be a little shocked. Ooh, no. Adding some buttons. Don't forget his hat. Or her hat. And then I'm going to put like a little bubble around our snowman's head. Like it's a uh, astronaut helmet. Oh, wait. Arms. And astronauts have a tether, which is kind of like a leash. So we're going to have to have our breathing tube and leash tether go from our ship to our snowman. Now that looks good, but sometimes I like to double up on it. Because now we could go through and color it in. We could even go through if you want to and add some stripes. So then you could have a couple of different colors on there. <laughs> we could put, we could use some tracers. So if you have like a, Circle tracer handy to make some planets. If you don't, you can go and grab one. That one is like coming off the paper a little bit. Maybe this one will be all the way on the paper. I gotta put some rings around this planet. Check out how I do this. A lot of times people will just draw a straight line going across. That's a good start. But what I like to do is I like to have them come from one side and then back to the other. But then I kind of go back over this idea a couple of times. And they always begin and end in the same spot. Oop, except for that one. My mistake. That way it kind of looks like they are looping around. Okay. Now, 
maybe we want to add um, some stars. Here's a good way to draw a star if you don't know how. I start with an upside down V, just like I use for this. I go across, I put a top on it, and I bring it up. Let me show you that again. I draw an upside down V. I go across. I put a top on it. And I bring it home. I'm going to add a couple more of those. If you want to add a couple more, you can. So now... I want you to add your own stuff. Should we see uh, an alien? Maybe we have an alien spaceship coming in. Maybe we have some um, ships that you've seen from Star Wars movies or, you know, outer space movies. Um, maybe you add some more snowmen. Okay. Take this idea and run with it. Have fun with it. Okay. I can't wait to see your progress in a little bit.